ahead. Are you still waiting to actually be let into the Keys? Or they still have that roadblock there? Or where are you right now? Yeah, we're still at the roadblock. Uh, we're not allowed into the Keys yet. Uh, they put up a roadblock uh, after David and the crew had gotten in there already. But, you know, people on this side, uh, here, take a look. This is at the 18 mile stretch. This is right where you go into the 18 mile stretch from US 1 and Chrome. Uh, we are not allowed to go past this point. Neither are people who live in the Keys. Uh, Adam, let's spin around here. We're going to go all the way around. And if you look down there, that's where the turnpike is, way down there. Uh, that's where the first roadblock is. So most of the people are being stopped there, and they're not able to go past there to get uh, over to where we are. Uh, what has a lot of people frustrated is the fact that they cannot get back in to the Keys. A lot of people we've been talking to live in Key Largo uh, say they got a pass to be able to hurricane pass. So after they left, they would be able to use that pass and just get in. Well, now they're not being allowed in, so they're extremely frustrated. There's a bit of a dust up earlier. Uh, um, people yelling because they were mad because they couldn't get in. But, you know, listening to what David said, uh, it makes sense as to why um, emergency managers and officials in the Keys are not letting them in. Now, just so you know, the truck that's going by there, the ones who are allowed in are those who uh, have a specific purpose for cleanup, for um, if they're a first responder, if they're a utility company, if they're cleaning roads, things like that. So, as David was saying, though, uh, what, what, what they need to do is they need to get those roads cleaned up. I believe we have some video shot by um, Tom Rabadi, our satellite truck operator, who got some uh, some good video to show you what the roads look like going from Key Largo down to Tavernier and Isla Morada. Uh, when you get to Isla Mar or Tavernier, that's where it starts to be a real mess. Uh, there was a trailer park that was just blown uh, out of its uh, spot there, likely by storm surge. Uh, a lot of the debris was carried onto the road, a lot of refrigerators on there, a lot of personal items, just stuff all over the place. This is what they're trying to get cleared up before people can go in. They also want to go in and do search and rescue to see if anyone is, is trapped, perhaps, or if someone's injured, or if there are people who are dead and they have to recover them. So uh, there's a lot going on there right now. Also, I was speaking to the county administrator, Roman Gustasi, and he was telling me that they're having a huge problem with, uh, with water and with sewage. And in fact, he said that, you know, right now they're not really able to uh, support human life, is how he put it, uh, because they're having problems with water. There's not, they don't have the water pressure to get water to the homes. Uh, they're going to give, he said they're going to try and give water to Key West from 10 to 12, so that would have just ended. Uh, not for drinking, but just for flushing the toilet and doing things like that. He, he said, you know, I didn't mean to be gross or crass, but we don't want people coming there and they're eating and drinking and then they have to get rid of it. Um, that, quite simple. I mean, they just don't have the sewage system to be able to carry out what needs to be carried out. So those are all the things that they're trying to get fixed before people are, are coming back in. In. Also with roads and bridges, the Florida Department of Transportation has to give the final okay that everything is okay to be able to get in. Now, obviously, some of the roads are clear enough that our crew was able to get there, but like they were, like David was saying, you, know, you, you blow a tire because there's debris all over the road. So they're trying to get all that out of the way because otherwise, if they start getting residents going back to their homes and they're running into all this debris, there can be injuries, there can be uh, more road problems because now people have broken down vehicles because of all the debris on the road. So there, there's a lot of things that have all just just kind of built up into a big mess that won't allow people to get back in. They said they're working on it as fast as they can, trying to get the roads clear and trying to get at least sections of the Keys, you know, inhabitable for people to go back. But uh, at this point, they're just not there. And uh, Roman, the uh, county administrator, reminded us this is the first full day after the storm. This is this is you know their first opportunity to go out there and truly assess and to get things done and to get things repaired. They said they're working as fast as they can. So that's kind of the situation with them at the moment. All right, All right, Ted, and we, and we know that obviously in Miami Beach, you're not allowed to go tomorrow. So imagine, you know, I, I can't imagine where the Florida Keys, where you have the most damage, of course you're not going to be allowed to go back today. So I was wondering about the people that are right around you um, there in Florida City. Is there a chopper overhead over you? Uh, the yeah, there's a chopper that just went over. I was seeing if it was, uh, you can go up and get, I was just seeing if it was a supply chopper. It looks too small to be a supply chopper. I think we saw a C-130 flying over there uh, about a couple hours ago or so. And they did say that they're going to be using a C-130 to get supplies into the Keys. I would imagine that's going down to probably Boca Chica or maybe Marathon if the airports are clear, just to get uh, some supplies into there, especially water. I think that's the big thing right now. But uh, as for the people around here who are waiting, most of them that we've spoken to are from Key Largo and from the upper Keys. And those are the ones who are really 
really frustrated because their areas don't have as much damage as further down, lower in the keys when you get to the middle keys and down into the lower keys, as David was explaining, all the all the devastation down there, the people in that area likely won't be able to get back for a while just because they might not be able to get in. But, um, Ted, just so a minute ago, you were sharing the screen, and I'm hoping that we can get it back up because we did have a live shot from the chopper right now. Right now, we're looking at Ted, but we'd really like to show our viewers what we're seeing on the chopper. I'm not sure if that's possible, but there was just so much damage. We're seeing boats washed up from the water onto the ground, a lot of extensive issues there. But, Ted, while we wait to get that shot, I do want to ask you, you mentioned something about people in Key Largo said they had some sort of a, a hurricane pass. Uh, we do know that there was extensive damage in Key Largo as far as Snapper's Restaurant, Basically, a total loss. The restaurant saying it plans to rebuild. But do the people there from Key Largo are they aware that there were significant issues in their community as well? The ones that, that we've spoken to uh, know that there's been damage, but the one, most of them that are coming back, it's their homes. They know their homes are safe, their homes are okay. They've gotten pictures from neighbors. Uh, they've been told by neighbors that, um, that we have something going on. Okay, um, Florida Highway Patrol is going to give us a little bit of information in just a few minutes. But uh, as, as for uh, what you were asking, yeah, they know that there's damage there, but their homes aren't damaged. And they figure getting to their homes would be okay. But, you know, as we were saying, th there's, there's an effort going on to try and clean things up so people, there's a safe way for people to get to and from, also that power lines aren't down, so they can try and get the power grid back up, so a lot of things happening. Is this an orderly process? Are these people lining up their cars to try to get in there, first come, first serve, so to speak? Or, or what exactly is, uh, how are they gathering there? No, where, where we are here, it's, it's, there's not too many that are getting down to this area because they're stopped at the first checkpoint. And from that first checkpoint, they're not able to come uh, past it. So are people. And then uh, we're, some of the people told us. Some people told us that they were told to go to the Homestead uh, Speedway and uh, that they would stage over there, but I haven't been able to confirm that with any officials yet. I asked the county administrator, and uh, he didn't know about that. So it, it could be. He just may not know about it.